It appears my vassal is having a succession crisis. I didn't know this could happen. This man scares me. He's far too powerful. I want to revoke his title, but I can't. I remember in the beginning of the game, I gave him this province. Perhaps I shouldn't have done that. I didn't even think about it at the time. A 5% chance he will revolt. It's 100%. 100%. Okay, we're going to try it again. I built a uh, militia training ground. Okay, now I built a militia training ground, which will go into effect next month. Nope, sorry man, can't help you. There we go, now I have some extra troops. And I made a discovery. I can click on these provinces and see how many troops they have right here. So, that's gonna have about 300, that's gonna have about 300, because you know not all the troops are gonna answer the call to arms, obviously. About 300, so, so we're gonna say about 300 for each of these, and about three, 400 for those, so that's 1,600, 1,600 for him. And for me, it's going to be a little bit more than that, so I think I can do it. I think I can uh, declare war on him and win the war, so let's do it. Here goes nothing. Yep, I'll call him to arms. See what he says. Call everybody in my realm to arms. Spent a lot of time sucking up to my vassals. You're lost. You're lost. What's your prestige now, buddy? Oh. 1,736. Okay. Well, fine. And I think I'm still making money, too. I paid off my debts. Yeah, I'm still making money. Fantastic. Alright. They're still coming. Hopefully the terrain advantage will give me victory. Nope. Okay, game over. That's all it took. Just one loss. Well, I could still get some uh, mercenaries. And they appeared over there. Fantastic. They're going to Guria. There's nothing to do about it. So you get there on the 7th of June, you'll get there on the 3rd of June. One loss. Just one loss is all. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Follow them. We must follow up on this victory. We cannot allow them to regroup. Hey, 33 more soldiers. Fantastic. I am okay with that. Good, good. Annihilate their army further. Let's see, they're gonna get there on December 4th, they'll get there on December 14th. Excellent. Fantastic. This is gonna this is gonna work out well. What the heck is this? Oh, cool. Heavy infantry, yeah. All we can do is crush his army. And look, I'm at negative 25 war score because of that one battle. One battle. Even though he now has no army, it doesn't matter because one battle decided the war. One battle, that's so stupid. March 14th. March 11th. 
There you go. Now he has no army. Okay, we should be able to capture Kassogs. It's so stupid. This is so stupid. That they can just summon armies out of nowhere. Why can't I do that? I want free armies. Where are you getting these troops? God, this is maddening. He has no mustache. Okay, let's find you a wife. Um, Countess of Novgorod? That's okay. Sure, yeah. Marry into House Rurikovich. That will do you well, actually. Oh, 19 troops. I'll take them. Yes! Oh my goodness, money! Fantastic. Fantastic. Money. Good. I needed money. Okay. Let's see. We can hire these really expensive ones, or we can get the cheaper ones. That's only 394 troops, though. Screw it, we'll go for expensive. I wanna win. Lack of funds, I don't care, I wanna win. Let's take this freaking province. What? The Black Sea Band rebelled? Okay, whatever. I won. I know, I know, I don't have money to pay you people. Just after the war, I swear. Oh. You, enforce demands. Of course I won. You, enforce demands? No. I guess you can just sit there. One battle. That one battle in the beginning decided everything. And the fact that those mercenaries appeared right here instead of right here was also extremely uh, important. God, that's stupid. The way the wars work in this game is so dumb. That one battle was so long ago. That should not be such a major factor in this war. Like, look at all these victories I had after that. But nope, that one battle. And still, I have nothing. I have a lower income now. <sighs> okay, my old king died at the age of 38. It's fairly common at this time. Summon children to the court. What is this? Huh. Who's your parent? Oh, Paphlagonia. Okay. Pick an ambition. Let's increase domain size. And I got... I have to go through the tedious process of making this guy happy because he's awful. Why do you hate me now? Alright, what I'm going to do is try and revoke his land again. Once this year is over. Yes, this war would be fantastic over here. This guy would destroy this army. Except the AI is being retarded. And he 
switches moving to this province, then he switches to this province, then to this province, then to this province, then to this province, and so he never actually goes anywhere because he's constantly changing direction. So he's been just marching in place there for probably about five years. And so they never actually fight. I could take advantage of that, but nope. Not gonna happen. I can't call levies. Why can't I call levies? I don't know. I also can't... I, I can't change my crown authority, and I don't know why. No, oh, there we go. Good. A 5% chance he'll revolt. Well, of course he's going to say no. I'm not giving him the option. I'm just taking it from him. That is so stupid. You shouldn't have the option of saying no. Hmm. Huh. You, you, sh you shouldn't be able to do that. That's dumb. I am your liege lord. What I say goes. If I say you can't, then by God, you can't. It drives me absolutely nuts. And she died of pneumonia, of course. Only 785. Alright, let's get some mercenaries. 1339. Except he undoubtedly has, you know, two or three thousand more troops just sort of, you know, sitting around out there. Yep, yep, he has 17,000 troops. Yeah, where were those 17,000 troops when you were my vassal? Oh yeah, they weren't there. They didn't exist. Just poof. Suddenly he has 15,000 troops. This is so maddening. Maddening. Okay, all right. I think I think this let's play is over. Um I made some mistakes. I gave away this province to this guy and made him far too powerful. That was stupid of me. And I wasted my money on stupid crap like wars and the, you know, titular title instead of uh, a titular title. That's redundant. Instead of um, buying castle upgrades so I could recruit more troops. Um, and now with all that failure built up, I mean, I could keep playing and, you know, do stuff. But with all that failure behind me, I think I just want to start fresh with a new Let's Play. So, uh, this has been Let's Play Crusader Kings 2, Georgia, failure, perhaps next time we won't be so, uh, so unlucky, so stupid, why am I saying we, I'm the stupid one, whatever, anyway, see you next time.